This is a review of my experience with the Spectre Muscle Car Cold Air Intake Kit. And it was priced at a little over $200 from Summit Racing. Now it looks good. Nice ducks. 4 inch. And on this C10, I was able to bolt them right up to existing air intake ducts that came out factory. So it wasn't really too hard to connect couple of self-tapping screws and it was a piece of cake. Now this sits on a GM Performance 350 250 horsepower motor and a couple of bolt-ons. And what I found was no seat of pants and I haven't had it on a dyno. I haven't noticed any gas mileage gains. Maybe a little bit of loss but not sure if that could be anything else. The only thing I did notice is that after using this and installing it, that at idle sitting there, I smell gas. So what I've come to the conclusion of is what it looks like is it may be suffocating and choking this. I already have this ready to uninstall. You can see I added a little bit of insulation to seal up between the base and the air cleaner so the hot air doesn't rise and get up in here but the filter doesn't look too bad after being on here for a year except right here and right here where the ducts enter now the rest of it doesn't even really look like it's being used at all almost like a waste of space and it just may be choking down the motor the rest of it looks pretty good and clean for being on there for a year daily driving through the weather and really for driving through the weather and it's not really damaged or anything so that's a good thing but it seems like the way this thing's set up and designed to work that it's not really uh, good flowing now the old air filter and air cleaner used to be on here with K&N which is an Elderbrock air cleaner you can see I got a lot more surface area that flowed through about the same even of dirtiness that's probably on there six months and same style drop base but for two hundred dollars and no real improvement it's just really to me it's cosmetics so what do you want it to look like and granted, cold air coming into the engine bay every 10 degrees is supposedly, some say 10 horsepower, others say 10%. I'm leaning more 10%, but that's what's good flow. And this thing does not look like it has good flow at all, considering the ducts come in right about here, mostly right up against this little raised area. So really, the best flow is up here, and you're getting a slight bit of air over there into it. Maybe changing the air cleaner base may be a good idea. But for now, the way it comes, it just don't seem like it's worth $200. Now, there's no real dyno. I didn't do the math on the mile per gallon. But... Just from what I see, it's all appearance and no real gains. Bet the money could be spent elsewhere for 200 bucks and you get more bang for your buck. Unless you just really want an Oldsmobile W30 look on your car or truck.